Hello everyone! Today, today I will read Horst Harris Nietzsche. Okay, here we go! Alright, chapter one. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Dad scratched his head. Stop scratching, please, said Mom. We are eating dinner. Mom scratched her head. Stop scratching, please, said Dad. We are eating dinner. Henry scratched scratched his head. Stop scratching, Henry said. Mom and Dad. Oh oh, said Mom. She put down her fork and followed at Henry. Henry, do you have needs again? Of course not, said Henry. Come over to the sink, Henry said. Mom. Why? said Henry. I need to check your head. Henry dragged his feet over to her, her as slowly as possible. It, it's not fair, he thought. It wasn't his fault that loved him. Henry's head was a gat gathering place for Nitz far and wide. They probably killed Nitz parties there and forgot Nitz visited him on their holidays. Mom dragged the neat comb across Henry's head. She made a face and groaned. You're crawling with nits, Henry, said Mom. Oh, Lassie, said Henry. He always liked counting how many nits he had. One and two and three, four and five and four and six and four and seven, blah, blah, blah. He counted dropping down on a two of on two of paper towel. It's not polished to count needs, said he, his younger brother's brother perfect Peter, wiping his mouth with his spotle snacking. It is mom? It certainly isn't, said Mom. Dad dragged dragged the neat comb across his head and made a face. Oh, said Dad. Mom dragged the comb through her hair. Bleach! Bleach! said Mom. Mom combed perfect Peter's hair, then she did it again, and again, and again. No need, Peter, said Mom, smiling. As usual, well done, darling, perfect Peter, Peter smiled mo modestly. It's because I wash and comb, comb my hair every night, said, said Peter. Henry scolded through. His hair was flinty, but then, need to love clean hair, said Henry. No, they don't," said said Peter. "I've never ever had neat. We'll see about that," thought Harry. When no one was looking, he he picked a few nits of the paper towel. Then he wandered over to Peter and cosily fing. Fingered a look of her hair. Rip, scratch, scratch, scratch. Mom! scolded Peter. Henry's pulling my hair! Stop it, Henry! said Dad. I wasn't pulling his hair, said Henry. I didn't go to leave. I just wanted to see how clean it was. And it's so lovely and clean, added Henry slowly. I wish my hair was as clean as Peter's. Peter, Peter be end. It wasn't often that Henry said anything nice to him. Right, said Mom grimly. Everyone upstairs. It's shampoo time. No, shrieked Henry. Henry, no shampoo. He hated. The stinky, smelly, horrible shampoo was more than he hated having needs. 
Only today, his teacher, Miss Bello X, had sent home a neat letter. We all neat, 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 neat have been seen in school. Get rid of them. Wash your hair with supersonic neat blasting shampoo, please, or else. Naturally, Harry had comforted the letter and thrown it away. He was never, never ever going to have foggy meat shampoo on his head again. What Northern Rock mom had spotted him scratching. It's the only way we get rid of it, said Dad. But it never works, screamed Harry, and he ran for the doors. Moment that grabbed, grabbed him, Dad, they dragged him, kicking and screaming to the bathroom. It's a ruined creatures! Hold to Harry. What kill them? Because, said Mom. Because, because they're bloodstocking it, said that bloodstocking. Harry had never thought of that. In the spilled seconds that he stood still to con consider, this is interesting information. Mom emptied the bottle of supersonic neat blasting shampoo over his hair. No, screamed Harry. Frantically, he, he shook his head. There was shampoo on the door. There was shampoo on the floor. There was shampoo all over. Mom and Dad, the, the only pl place there was no shampoo was on Harry's head. Harry, stop being horrid! yelled Dad, whipping sharp of his jacket. What a big fuss over nothing, said, said Peter. Harry rungled at him. Mom, Mom saved Harry by the collar and held him back. Now Peter, said Mom, that, that wasn't a ki kind thing to say to Harry, was it? Not everyone is brief as you. You're right, Mom," said Perfect Peter. "I was being rude and thoughtless. I want to have have it again. I'm so sorry, Harry." Mom smiled at him. That was a perfect Peter. Perfect. That was a perfect apple looky Peter. As for you, Harry," she sighed. "Well, get more shampoo tomorrow." Phew," thought Harry, giving his head. An extra good scratch. Say for a one more day. The next morning, at sh at school of group, at school of group, of parents burst into the classroom, classroom, waving the neat letter and shouting. My Margaret doesn't have neat. She never, ha never has, and she never will. How dare you stand to? Home such a writer, shrieked Moody Margaret's mother. The the idea my Joshua don't doesn't have need, shouted his mother. My Toby doesn't have need. Some nasty ch child in this class isn't box bursting, shouted his father. Miss Bell asked squared her shoulders. Rest, rest assured that. The carpet will be found, she said. I have delivered del war on it. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Miss Better asked spun round. Her her baddy eyes swiveled over the class. Was scratching. She she beamed. Silence. Oh. Harry bent over his work. Worksheet and tried to rock start this. Harry is said Moody Margaret. Ryer shouted horrid Harry. It was it was William. With William burst into tears. No, it wasn't. He soft. Miss Barrow asked glared at at the 
plus I'm going to find out once and for or who get it. She growled. I don't. I don't. I don't. Silence. Ordered Miss Sparrow asked. Nor are the nurse is coming this co coming this morning. Who's gonna need who's not bursting? We'll find out soon. Oh, oh, that Harry. Now no, I'm sunk. There was no escaping. Nitty Nora bug explorer and her freaks comps. Everyone would know he had the needs. Root Rob would never stop teasing him. He'd be shampoo every night. Mom and Dad would would find out out about the need about all the need letters he'd throw away. He could of course get a tummy ache, double kick, and be sent home. But Nitinora had a horrible way of the. Remembering who's had the head checked and and then come be in front of the whole class. He could run screaming out of the door saying head count made cow decide but somehow he didn't think. Miss Bell asked would believe him there was no way out. This time he was well and tr truly stuck. Yep. Newsles. Suddenly, Harry had a wonderful spectacular idea. It was so wicked and so horrible that even hard Harry has did it. But only for a moment. This pure time call for this part. Mirrors. Chapter 5. Harry ran it over Cleaver Claire and brushed his hat rightly against hers. Rip, scratch, scratch. Get away from me. Get away from me, Harry, he declared. I was just a dreaming your lovely picture, said Harry. He got, got up to sharpen in his, ha his pencil. On his way to sharpen, sharpen all, he brushed against greedy hand. Rip, scratch, scratch. On his, on his way back from the charcoal, sh Henry stomped and fought against Exno Andrew. Rip, scratch, scratch. Oh, yarped Andrew. Sorry, Andrew, said Harry. What big crummy fit I have. Oops. Oops, he added, tripping over the cart and banging at the Swiss Whippy William. <laughs> Rip, scratch, scratch. Ooh. Well, well, William. Sit down at once, Harry, said Miss Barrow. Asked, William, stop scratching. Bert, how do you spell cat? I do know, said, said Biffy Bert. Or Harry went it across the table and put his head close to Bert. C-A-T, he whispered helpfully. Rip, scratch, scratch. Then heard Henry raise his hand. Yes, said Miss Barrow. Asked, I don't understand these introductions, said Miss said Henry sweetly. Could you say, could, could you help me, please? Miss Barrow asked for want. She liked to keep as far away from Harry as possible. We took she came closer and bent over his work. Henry rendered his head near her horse. Whip, scratch, scratch. Ron was pounding at the door, then knitting Rob merged into the classroom. Bracing with combs and other implements of tortures. Why not everyone? said Miss Barrow, asked, patting. Her hair, the knit nurse in, is here. Rich, the Harry, hit, hit, hard started. Slowly he stood up. Everyone pushed and shoved, shoved to be 
first in line that a few children remembered that what they were reclining all four and stamped towards the back where Harry saw his chance and took it. Harry ch charged through the school wall children first brushing against everyone as fast as he could. Rip, scratch, scratch, rip, scratch, scratch, rip, scratch, scratch. Harry, should Miss Beryl ask, stay in a play time. Now, now go to the end of course, the rest of you. Stop this at once. Moody Margaret had fought longest and hardest to be first. Probably she present her head to Nate Nora. I certainly know how neat she said. Nate Nora stuck he come in, come in. Neat, she honored stuff, stuffing, stuffing a neat note into Margaret's hand. For once Margaret had to shock to be speak, but, but she, she, she gasped. That Harry. No, he wouldn't be only one. Next, said Nitty Nora. She stuck the comb, comb in Rudolph's gr grassy hair. Nit, she announced. Nit faced his horrid Harry, bes beside himself with gle glee. Nit, said Nitty Nora, poking her comb into Regerinda's mop. Nit, said Nitty Nora, parting Grady Graham fit hair. Nit, 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 nit. She con continued po pointing at Whippy William, Clever Claire, Sewer Susan, Beefy Bart, and Lizzie David. Then Nitty Nora back, back on to Miss Bell Ox, teachers too, she ordered. Miss Bell Ox jaw dropped. I have been teaching for 25 years and I have never had needs, she said. Don't waste your time checking me. Nitty Nora ingrowed her protest and stuck in the calm. Hum, she said, and whispered in Miss Battle Axe's ear. No, old Miss Battle Axe. No! Then she joined the rhino of Ruby, walling children halting. There need not. At last it was Harry's turn, knitting Nora stuck her comb into Harry's dangled and hair and dragged it across his scrap. She she combed again and again and again. No need, said Nitty Nora. Keep up the good work, young man. I sure will, said Harry. Or Harry skipped home waving his curfitly. Ruth Peter called Harry. I'm need free. Perfect Peter burst into tears. I'm not, he wailed. Hard rock, said her said Harry.